Well, thanks for joining me today. Um, we're in Luke 21, verse number 5, and we're getting to an exciting part in this um, book of Luke where Jesus um, goes on what we call the, the Olivet Discourse. He's um, coming down to the end, coming to the time he's going to be crucified, and he's talking about the, the end times. He's talking about the last days, and these are the words of Jesus. Verse 5, it says in Luke 21, while some were speaking of the temple, they were talking about how beautiful this temple Herod built, and, you know, Herod had this um, tel te tem uh, Solomon's temple um, reconstructed, and it was beautiful. In fact, um, I was reading recently, it says this this repairs and work on, on this temple actually continued into the into the 60s um, of, of the first, first century. He says, so they were looking at the temple, how it was adorned with noble stones and, and offerings, you know, it was so beautiful. And he said, as for these things that you see, the days will come when there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. So they were all taken back. What? I mean, the, the entire um, worship of, of Israel was centered around um, the, the temple. Of course, we had the synagogues and the villages and so on, and that came out of the, um, the, the post-exilic era, that something that developed the, the synagogues. But um, Israelite worship was centered around the Old Testament law, the Torah, the priesthood, the sacrifice of the offerings, the temple. And here's Jesus now saying, listen, the day is going to come when there will not be one stone left upon another. They're all going to be thrown down. So they were aghast at this. And they asked him, teacher, when, 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 will, when is this going to happen? When will these things be? And, um, and what will be the sign when these things are about to take place? So give us some signs so we're going to know when this is going to take place. And he said, see that you are not led astray. So as I spoke earlier when he said about uh, a few days ago about the being be, uh, beware of the scribes, beware of false teachers, deceivers. And so he says, see that you are not led astray. So many people are being led astray today. False news, you know, the fake news. Uh, misinformation, lies, deception, so many being um, so gullible and, and just listening. And then we've got um, heresies, um, so many false doctrines and lies all over the world. The Bible says the entire world, I'm just reading that in, in um, the book of 1 John, where i uh, just find that here. We know that the whole world lies in wickedness. And John is saying, we know that we are from God and that the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. The whole world lies under the power of the evil one. And people of God, we've got to keep our eyes on Jesus. He said, see that you are not led astray. So we've got to be careful. Now, is it possible that someone who has been in the church for years to be led astray? Hmm, that can happen. That can happen. Um, we read in the New Testament of, of Demas, Paul said, he has forsaken me having loved this present world, you know, and many, we've, there are people and there will continue to be people coming out of the church who are going to lead others astray, unfortunately. It, it's, it's hurtful, it's disappointing, and you, you, you're so concerned about their souls, the well-being of their future, and they think they've got, they've latched onto something new, something that is so exciting. Everyone else is wrong. We're, we're doing the right thing. We're saying the right thing. We're using the right name and stuff like that. See that you are not led astray. Beloved, do not be led astray. Know God for yourself. Be critical. There's something called cognitive bias, that when, you know, we, we, we assume a particular position, and then we begin to accumulate information. We only listen to podcasts or, or, or talks or follow people who support that op opinion, like anti-vaxxers, for example. And we're not open to arguments from the other side. And we're not thinking critically. See that you're not led astray. Beloved, we've always got to make sure our hearts are right with God. Love God. Worship God. You see, when you worship God... You're praying, praying in the spirit, worshiping and, and having the presence of God in your life. And you are in the word of God. You're reading the Bible for yourself. Read it, devour it, devour it for yourself. Then you will be able to detect the spirit of error. You'll be able to detect, ah, this sounds 
something is off here about this person's character about the way they're presenting themselves there's something i can i can sense something because the spirit of god helping you or that particular teaching that they have and that they're seeking to build upon you know okay well something is wrong let me see what the word of god says here and she said beware that you are not led astray all right and we'll continue tomorrow the lord bless you